Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. In January of 1971, All in the Family would debut on CBS television where it would run for nine seasons and it would make Gene Stapleton and Carol O'Connor household names. Stapleton would probably always be best known for her role as Edith Bunker, but her career in acting started well before All in the Family and continued on long after the show ended. Here are five facts you may not know about Jean Stapleton. First, Stapleton began her acting career on stage, long before making the move to television. A couple of the plays that she was in included the Broadway musical Damn Yankees in 1955 and the Broadway musical Funny Girl in 1964 alongside Barbara Streisand. Her love of the stage would be just one of the reasons she would ultimately decide to leave All in the Family when she did. In fact, by 1986, she was back on Broadway in Arsenic and Old Lace. Number two, Jean Stapleton appeared in a number of television commercials during the 50s and 60s, including Ivory Snow, Gleam Toothpaste, where she reminded us to use Gleam even if you can't brush after every meal, and a commercial for Gain Detergent, where she's shown just how powerful Gain is at getting stains out of clothes. Now if you're interested in seeing any of those commercials, most of them can still be found on YouTube and I've got to say, they're quite fun to watch. Number 3. Jean was offered the role of Jessica Fletcher in the mystery series Murder She Wrote. However, she turned it down. When discussing that decision, she stated, I had just come off eight and a half years in a television series. I'm sure that had its part in it. but." It didn't seem to be the kind of role I could really get my teeth into. It just didn't have enough color for me. Now, Angela Lansbury was great in Murder, She Wrote, but I would really have loved to see what the show might have looked like starring Gene Stapleton. Number four, Gene Stapleton was a favorite of author Nora Ephron, who would have Gene in two of her films, Michael from 1996 starring John Travolta and You've Got Mel from 1998 starring Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. Number 5. Jean was cast in All in the Family a full three years before its first episode would air on television. Creator Norman Lear and his partner Bud Yorkin had shot two pilots for network ABC, but ABC felt that the show was just a bit too edgy. Ultimately, All in the Family would debut on CBS, who was going through the rural purge at the time and was replacing rural-themed shows such as Mayberry RFD, The Beverly Hillbillies, and Green Acres and moving towards shows with a more urban feel, such as All in the Family or The Jeffersons. Okay, now I can't end this video without talking about this picture of Gene Stapleton and rock and roll legend Alice Cooper. This picture was taken at the Free Shakespeare Festival at the Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles in 1973. Stapleton is dressed in a chorus girl costume from a play she was part of in that festival. Now what are your favorite memories of Gene Stapleton? It would have been hard to watch TV in the 1970s or 80s without seeing All in the Family, either in its original run or at some point during syndication. I look forward to reading your comments. Also, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel, where I talk about movies, TV shows, and music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. As always, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there and have a great day.